12 people have been arrested by the Ghana Police Service for assisting investigations into how a total of 326 million Ghana CDs was withdrawn at different ATMs of Universal Merchant Bank, UMB, last week. The police believe that the bank's system was hacked to allow the criminals to remove the maximum limits of the ATM cards, which enabled them to make huge withdrawals. The 12 are currently on remand while the investigations continue. Our reporter, Rebecca Wa, brought us live updates in the morning. There's no cyber security that is foolproof. No matter what you do, there are also cyber criminals who are always trying to attack the system. So the prevention is good, but you must also put in detection mechanisms so that when the detection mechanism fails or there's any breach, the system itself should be able to identify and also support investigation, especially when we have to trace and also identify whoever committed that breach. Currently, we have arrested five out of the 18 people who attack, who open fraudulent transactions, and we are still going on. What we, have also, we also want to do is also identify what they were planning to do by using investigative tools to identify what they've been doing, what they were planning, and what they are also planning. We've reminded the suspect because we didn't want them to interfere with our investigation, and we wanted those who have we have arrested also to support us in ongoing investigation. We'll be using the Criminal and Other Offenses Act. We'll also be using the Electronic Transaction Act. Depending on the type of charges, charges that we are able to come out with at the end of investigation, sometimes we start with one offense in mind, and as we continue investigation, other offenses come to play, and then you have to put evidence together to support all the charges that you come out with. So, Whatever punishment will depend on the type of charges that we bring against these people. Apart from the fact that they are, when they are found culpable, they will be punished. There's something that we also call money laundering and asset tracing, process of crime. So when you allow people who commit such offense to maybe go to jail and come back and enjoy the fruit of the crime, it, it, it pays to, people will say that it even pays to commit crime. So we'll be looking at the money. Where is the money? We'll be tracing assets, whether they've used some of the money to buy any property or other thing. We'll be tracing that. And at the end of the day, we'll make the court aware of the process, what they have used their monies to do. And the court will make appropriate orders, and then we'll take it from there. This is a big issue in Ghana now, cyber security and cyber crime. And we'll be bringing you more in our subsequent bulletins. So keep watching our space on Ghana television. From the police headquarters, my name is Rebecca Ewa.